Eleanor had always been a skeptic until she set foot in the enigmatic Winchester Mystery House. She had read about the labyrinthine mansion, built by the grieving widow Sarah Winchester, who was convinced that the spirits of those killed by Winchester rifles sought vengeance. For years, Sarah had added rooms haphazardly, creating staircases that led to the ceiling and doors that opened to walls. The tales fascinated Eleanor as a child, but she had dismissed them as mere legends. Determined to debunk the myths, Eleanor joined a private night tour. Her group was led by a guide named Miles, who had a reputation of recounting the house's history with unnerving precision. As they entered the ornate front door, Eleanor felt a sudden chill. Miles began with the well-known story of Sarah's fervent construction endeavors as they moved through narrow corridors and dimly lit rooms. The atmosphere grew thicker and dense with each step. Flickering candles cast eerie shadows that seemed to dance with malice. This room, Miles announced, gesturing to a quaint sitting area, is where Sarah held her seances, hoping to communicate with the spirits. Eleanor glanced around skeptically, noting the odd arrangement of furniture and the sense that eyes were watching her. They continued onward, and Eleanor couldn't shake the feeling that something was amiss. Suddenly, the group heard a faint whisper. Did you hear that? she asked, but her companion seemed unperturbed, attributing it to the wind. They reached a staircase that spiraled into nothingness. Eleanor's curiosity got the better of her, and she broke away, ascending the narrow steps. At the top, she found another corridor, this one darker and narrower. She heard the whisper again, this time louder, almost urgent. Who's there? she called out, her voice trembling slightly. As she turned the corner, she came face to face with a mirror. For a moment, she saw not her own reflection, but the gaunt, sorrowful face of a woman dressed in Victorian morning attire. She blinked, and the image vanished. Heart racing, she rejoined the group. Miles gave her a knowing look, as if he were familiar with what she had experienced. Many visitors report seeing apparitions here, he said softly. Determined not to let fear cloud her judgment, Eleanor pressed on, determined to find a rational explanation. The group entered the kitchen, and the stove suddenly roared to life, spewing forth a bitter cold instead of heat. It's just old pipes, Eleanor thought, though her conviction was wavering. The tour concluded in the attic, where Sarah Winchester's preserved belongings lay untouched. Miles concluded with a solemn statement, Sarah believed this house kept her alive, and that stopping construction would bring her doom. Some say these spirits still demand more. As the group exited, Eleanor felt an indescribable pull towards the mansion. She had come to debunk its mysteries, but instead found herself caught in its web. She knew she would return, not to dispel the legend, but to unravel it further. A skeptic no more, she had become a part of the Winchester riddle herself.